ba 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 ding da ding 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 blue 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 ba ba da ba da blue 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 Welcome to another Swiggin' Steve's Bargain Beer Reviews and today we have Blue Moon Blue Moon Belgian white beer Belgian style white beer wheat sorry Belgian style wheat beer so here we go uh, looking forward to this one just checking we're recording yes we are so yep here we go and that's what she looks like oops sorry someone's gone on to my wood I'm drinking out of a wine glass today just because I can so oh initially on the smell there initially on the smell so orange peel really 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 orangey peely citrusy orange but we're also getting like some sort of herbal herbal quality with that as well almost like some sort of uh, shrub maybe like a not a shrub uh, like a coriander it's got like a almost like a mintiness as well no no coriander coriander got like a coriander sort of leafiness to it um almost got like a, a slight cloviness to it as well slight cloviness that you get you expect from these sort of belgium type beers gonna finish pouring her in so look we've got about i mean I've, I've i've thrown that in there so we've got what two fingers of almost like slight um what would you that describe that cream frothy head it's not filtered so look at that so we've got lots of stuff floating around in there smells good smells good yeah, smells fresh. A little bit crisp, maybe. Getting lots of orange. Overwhelming orange. Now, for me, the coriander and orange thing, it's a little bit... It's the kind of thing that repeats on you, so later on when you're burping. You know, about two hours later, you're still burping coriander and orange up, and that's the problem with something like this. Yeah. Okay, anyway. Here we go. Smells inviting. If you like that sort of thing, great. It's definitely got a Belgian quality to it. You're getting like a cloviness or some sort of some sort of spiciness to that. Yeah. Here we go. Mm. Okay. So, yeah, it's okay, it's nice. Okay, so for first of all, what are you getting? You're getting a, a bash of the coriander straight away and the orange peel. And then it's actually got quite a nice sort of, it, 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 these, these sort of, this sort of herbal quality to this beer, this sort of like clovey sort of flavour, almost goes into like a, a nice sort of bready, slightly caramel sort of malt backbone to it. But it's got a thinness to it, this beer, which some people would prefer, actually. For me, I feel like it needs a little bit more body. It feels like it's been thinned down. I can't help but feel that the orangeness is a little bit synthetic as well. The more I drink this, the more I quite appreciate the maltiness to it. Or not the maltiness, but what, or the wheatiness from the malt, the, the, the backbone to this beer. It's like got a nice sort of, it's a slight cereal quality that goes into a little bit, of, a little bit of like a caramelliness, like almost like a butteriness actually, which is quite nice. Every word I, I describe this beer finishes in ness. I do that when I'm typing, when I'm doing my, uh, when I'm describing my beers on Instagram as well. Um, a little bit of a burp came up there, and I weren't getting a massive coriander burst, which I'm quite grateful for. I think coriander is quite an overpowering taste. It's not particularly refreshing, I don't think, in a in a in something like this. 
So, yeah, it tastes good. Oops, sorry, just a sec. Oops, sorry about that. Yeah, so, no way. Yeah, the orange nurse, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm being quite negative on this beer. It's a nice beer, it's a lovely beer. Some people love this. I find it, and I like it as well. It's actually quite nice. It's quite... The finish, I find the finish is a little bit lacklustre. It's almost like, you, you are getting the continuous slight caramelly buttery wheatiness, which is quite nice. It does it does sustain itself a little bit. But it is like, the, all the fruitiness from it, it like, it's like it's almost like it's a nice sort of fizz of it and then it dis dissipates really quickly. And it kind of reminds, it, it almost makes me feel like is the is the flavouring synthetic rather than actually genuine orange. Who knows? And it's not a bad beer by any any shot of the imagination. Um, I paid... I got four of these for... No, I got... I got eight. Eight of these for nine pounds. It makes them... Is it one pound fifteen each I think something like that my maths is bad it's about £1.15 somewhere along those lines £1.15 for 330 mils uh, 7 out of 10 it gets a it gets a, a 7 out of 10 for me for that price I mean, maybe I'm being a little bit harsh I don't know I don't know but I, I think it's it's okay I don't think this is brewed in America. I think it's been, let's see what it says. Brewed with white wheat and steel cut oats. Blue Moon features a crisp finish and a perfect combination of orange peel and a touch of coriander. Bring out the flavor by serving it with uh, a wheat beer glass, <laughs> not a wine glass, uh, and an orange slice. Yeah, fair enough. Blue Moon wheat beer is four, oh, it's 5.4% of all. Uh, brewed by UK by Molson Coors Brewing Company. Right, okay. Burton on Trent. It's not braced. I think the original American version of this would get a higher score. Uh, one thing I will say though, it is unfiltered. It's got. A, it's not. It's not. Uh, it's not been filtered to the point where it's see through and there's nothing left in it. So the, it's got some guts to it. This beer, but for me, I don't. Re I remember it having a bit more than this. Seven out of ten. Tell me what you think. Please comment. What do you think about Blue Moon? Have you had beers similar to this? What do you think to Belgian white beers? What do you think to Blue Moon? What do you think to this version against the the American brewed version? Uh, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter or Instagram. I'm on Facebook too. I'll see you next time. Bye.